I had a meeting in central London yesterday and it went really well. So on the way to the train station I stopped in at Starbucks to get myself a a cup of coffee is a treat. And I finished it on the way to the train station, I finished it on the platform. So instead of leaving it on the train platform, I got on the train with this empty Starbucks cup, with full intentions to find a bin when I got to my stop at the other end of the train line. So when I sat down, I had this Starbucks cup, my rucksack, my train pass and my phone all kind of sitting on my lap like this. And I had my book in my bag that I was about 20 pages from the end of, and I really wanted to finish it. So I put my phone and my train pass away in my rucksack and got the book out, but then I had my bag, this cup and my book, and I couldn't read with the cup in my hand. So I thought, I'll put the cup down behind me on the shelfy air vent bit, and I'll pick it up when I leave, but I, I need to put it there for now so that I can... I can read my book. Now as I put it behind me, this woman came and sat down next to me and I saw her watch me do it and as soon as I started reading, I suddenly realised she was looking at me and then looking at the cup and then looking at me and I could feel her eyes boring into my face for the rest of the 40 minute journey. She would not stop looking at me and I could feel her getting more anxious and more angry because she thought I was just going to leave it there. Now when we were getting nearer my stop, I put my book away and got my train pass out so she knew I was going to be getting off the train soon and I could feel her getting ready to say something. Now we got to my stop and I swear to you my ass did not get even an inch above the seat before she said to me, uh, excuse me, aren't you forgetting something? I think you'd better take that rubbish with you, don't you? I mean, in the time it took for me to get where I was off the seat, there was no way I would have had time to reach behind and get this cup. So there's no way she could have known that I wasn't going to take it. She had just assumed that I was just a spoiled little teenage brat who thought that they could just leave their crap on the train whenever they liked. And me being me, obviously I didn't think of anything quippy or witty to say to her, so I just said, yeah, I know, I was going to. And she looked at me like, yeah, too right you're going to, as if she was the one who'd encouraged me to do it. I, I mean... I it made me so angry. I was so annoyed. I mean, my train journey stories don't stop there. I've got a million of these things because I'm constantly on trains. But if you've got any stories, make sure you comment them below because I'd love to hear that it's not just me who has problems like this on trains.